What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, as you can see, we are back on Koala Sampler and this is continuing on the series of basically learning Koala from the ground up. So if you're new to this app, this series is gonna be great for you getting to grips with it. It's a really powerful app and if you wanna get started with the interface, make sure you check out part one of this series. I'll leave a link to it in the top right of the screen so you can start there if you wanna start from the very beginning. And in this one today, I'm gonna to be talking about an add-on that you absolutely have to get for this app. It just makes it a much more kind of robust beat making experience yeah you basically have to get this if you want to be making full beats seriously on this app so the samurai update is really easy to get you can go into the menu here go to settings extras and there will be a button here which says buy samurai basically you just click that and go through the options that you do when you buy something from the app store and then it will just come up with a confirmation message to say you are now on samurai and you can go ahead and start using the features. It's really, really simple to do. And it cost me $3.99 over here in British pounds. So I'm gonna go and press okay. And the first thing that I'm gonna talk about, because this is pretty good timing, is there's a brand new EQ update for this. So this is the first thing that I'm gonna show you. You can see up here, I've got two tabs now available and you'll see these once you do the Samurai update as well. We've got sample and EQ. So to make this a bit easier, I'm gonna to go to this snare sound that I've got. And I'm going to go ahead and press EQ and now what we get is this three band EQ. Now you can see here I've actually already drawn something in but it's really really simple to do. All you do is literally drag and drop and move around where you want the EQ to be positioned. It's really really intuitive and easy to use. Very similar to what you see on something like Ableton or Logic uh, but the difference being you're just using your fingers to move it which is really really nice. So I've enabled that and you can hear that's sounding a little bit more snappy and the great thing about this is trying to make it kind of non-destructive so what you can do is just click enabled and you can take it off and you can see there it's back to the original sound and then if I change my mind again I can just go back in and press enabled again so in my last video about the SP I was screaming out for this option on the SP because basically if you are using the 404 mark 2 you have to do resample in order to add EQ to a drum say that you've already put it in a pattern uh, so that's really really frustrating and time consuming this is super super simple it's on a per pad basis you can see here i've taken off the lows on this hi-hat and on this kick as well i've rolled off the highs so i can do it on each individual sample it's really fast it's really intuitive and you can toggle it on and off and it remembers what you've done and as well you can just press reset and that takes it back to normal so super simple super powerful stuff exactly what you'd expect from koala because that's pretty much how they seem to be able to do everything which is really really cool okay so that's the eq side of things that's the brand new feature now let's go into time stretch so for this i have this drum loop and i've got that looping pretty well and what i'm going to do is go into time stretch and stretch this so that it fits with the sequence which i'm trying to create so the sequence which i have here is 84 bpm i'm not sure on the exact tempo of this particular loop um, but if we go into stretch you can see now samurai has gone and i can see stretch i'm going to go ahead and click that and it's highlighted the two bars and if you click the little drop down here it comes up with the time stretch options so we have a little drop down here you can choose how many beats or bars you want to stretch and you can choose all these different settings modern retro beats and re-pitch now i'll just talk you quickly through these the modern algorithm is supposed, to, is supposed to sound buttery smooth. Retro emulates classic sa sampler granular time stretch. That's easy for you to say. And Beats uses transients in your samples to make chops and loops to extend or shorten your sample. There's also Repitch as well, which isn't actually mentioned on the online page for this. So I'd have to go into that to understand how that works. Let's go ahead for this one and just choose modern. And the great thing is as well, you can do preview. And also these are non-destructive as well. So if you do choose one of these and then change your mind later, you can go back in and choose a different way of time stretching and change the sound of your sample. So let's try modern. You can hear there, that's done such a good job of changing the sound of that, but not losing any of the quality. There's no kind of artifacts or anything developing on that. If we choose retro, okay, not great for drums, but it probably could work for a sample. And like it says, it gives you that kind of retro feel. Uh, we can try beats as well. It's 
kind of a similar result to modern because it's drums so it's working quite well for that and we can do repitch too and from what i can gather from that if you're pitching down and slowing the sample down it's obviously going to pitch it down lower and if you're speeding the sample up it'll pitch it higher i think that's how the repitch algorithm works for that one so i'm going to go ahead and choose modern for that and just press ok and that is essentially the time stretching options really really powerful again and like i mentioned if you go in again and have a look at this it's non-destructive so i could just go in and change it to repitch if i wanted to come out of it go back in change it back to modern really really powerful and non-destructive so that's super super nice okay the next thing is in sequence and i think this is a really really good update because i've already started laying down a few patterns and i've already noticed a few problems if you don't have the samurai update that basically you can't go in and edit the points that you've created which is very very annoying so you definitely do need the samurai update if you're putting down sequences so you can double click on here now and you can see that it's brought up what is basically a pattern sequencer but in digital form if you have an npc one of the more modern npcs you'll be very familiar with this kind of screen you can do this on the npcs and move things around nudge things around and you can do a very similar thing on this app except for it's a little bit more simplified and basically what i did on this one was um, I'd put in a beat and the quantize had knocked out a bit so I could come in here and just move around the hi-hats and make sure everything was exactly how I wanted it which was really nice. You can draw in and you can click them to delete them as well so you could actually just come in here and draw a whole drum loop if you wanted to. You can change the velocity of the samples and as you can see here on my hi-hats I've kind of brought those down to add a little bit more shuffle and you can also use this dice here and what this does is changes the chance of the sound actually happening so you can drag it down and hopefully you can see there look it's saying chance 39 percent i'm going to change that back to 100 but basically that is the chance of that sample actually playing when the loop's ticking over so that's quite a nice little feature uh, something i've not messed around with myself before i've never had a sample with that on so that'll be quite interesting to have a play around with at some point in the future if you move across here you can also see that you can snap things quarter eighth six one sixteenth one thirty two everything that you'd usually expect or you can just do free as well which gives you the option to really loosen up your beats and get that human feel into them which is nice and then you've got undo and redo there as well and there's only one thing which i don't really know what this does yet is this area with the piano and i think it's because i've only got drum hits in so there's obviously some other functionality available here i don't know completely what that does and on the online page there's only a very brief description about this whole area basically um, but it does say that you can do things like copy paste reverse stretch and legato in this area so that might have something to do with this particular side of this area but i don't know how that bit works yet i i've only looked at this and worked out how everything works for drums basically i assume this is going to be more useful when you're actually using samples uh, but yeah that's how everything works for the drum side of things so i'll try and cover that in a future video uh, but i think that's enough about that area in general really because you can hopefully see there that it's extremely powerful and it's a really really nice interface as well really easy to use okay so the last area to talk about is the chop and i'm going to go ahead and use this drum loop again to describe this so i'm going to make sure that's highlighted and i'm going to make sure i'm in sample as well go to edit and we're going to go into tools and auto chop you can see here now straight away you can see that this has tried to pick up transients so there's three options at the top you've got transients equal and lazy they're fairly straightforward to understand just from reading them lazy is a little bit different to what you'd expect but i'll show you that in a second so transient is trying to pick up the transients here you can see and you can hit these to preview them You can go ahead and set your own points in here by just clicking and dropping like that. It's really quick and simple to do. You can also use this scale here to add more and more points. And you can see there it's trying to pick up the transients. And it's letting me go all the way up to 27 on this particular sample. And then in the lower area, you can see that if you went and actually confirmed to the chop, you can keep the original. You can choose the mute group that they go into. So let's say you chose six, it would they would all be in that mute group and then all mute each other out when you're playing them which is really really nice you can choose if they're a one shot or not so if you just have to click it once or if you have to press and hold it i would always usually use once one shot in a mute group it's just a lot nicer and a lot smoother and then you can choose whether it does play through or not you can go there press cancel or chop 
Then you get the option of equal, which basically just tries to divide it up into equal parts. And again, you can just slide across and choose how many divisions that you want all the way up to 16. So that's really, really nice and really powerful. And then lazy. Now this is where it's slightly different to what you might expect. It's where you can manually add your own samples, but what you can do is actually listen to the sample as you're putting them in. So I'm gonna press play and I'm gonna start putting these in. And when it gets to the end, it just keeps looping around while this play button's highlighted. So let's go ahead and try and add some in manually. And then we can go off there and I can go ahead and preview those. And again, I can move those points. I think you should be able to zoom in as well. Yep, you can zoom right in. So look, you can get right in on the waveform and make sure that's exactly where you want it. It's so powerful. You do have to be careful when you're zooming in and out because it can add points that can be a little bit fiddly, but you can just delete them by pressing them and then just put it, put it back in again by hitting it. It's so quick and easy to do. It's just amazing how simple but effective this whole app is and this shows it off in particular i think it's absolutely amazing so you could go ahead and just press chop and that'll put it onto the pads i'm not going to do that for now i'm just going to press cancel and come out of that but you can see how amazing that auto chop area is so that's it for this one guys a little bit of a longer video i've just got that one thing to figure out in this sequence area in the sequence edit area uh, the piano roll there in keyboard mode there's still something to learn but i'll make sure i learn that and get it in a video in the future and yeah, those features are really, really nice. You've got your EQ, your time stretch, your chopping, and the editing of the sequences as well. So four really, really good updates, which will definitely improve your beat making on this app by a considerable amount, I think. They're just features that you definitely need if you're making beats, and it's a very, very nice update. If you have any comments or questions or anything like that, leave it in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer those for you. Don't forget to smash a thumbs up if you found this one useful. And apart from that, guys, take it easy, keep making beats, and I'll be back with more content soon. Peace.